Breaking news, guys. Jubilation in IPOP's camp as American military veterans of Igbo take fresh decision on Namde Kano's release. They said enough is enough. Enough is enough. Mazen Namde Kano should be released. Let's see what they are set to do. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for let's stopping by. If you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Nigerians, the American military veterans of Igbo descent, IV, AVID, please pardon me, has made a, a heartfelt plea to the recently elected UK Prime Minister, Stammer, to take action concerning the continued detention of Namdi Kanu. Namdi Kanu is the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, by the Nigerian government. This call to action was articulated in a congratulatory letter dated July 19, 2024, which Avid sent to Prime Minister Stammer following his election victory on July 5, 2024. Avid is not for profit organization that compri comprises U.S. citizens of Igbo and S3 who have served or more currently serving in various branches of the United States Armed Forces. The organization is deeply concerned about the plight of Namdi Kano, a Britain citizen who has been held in detention by Nigeria's Department of State Service, DSS, since 2021. Kano was apprehended after he called for a referendum to create the nation of Biafra, a region in southeastern Nigeria, with a significant Igbo population separate from the current Nigerian state. In their letter, AV President Dr. Sylvester Onya and the Secretary Dr. Gosson Obiago outlined several key issues surrounding Kano's detention. They pointed that they pointed out that Kano was subjected to an illegal extraordinary rendition from Nairobi, Kenya to Nigeria, which contravenes international law and human rights standards. Since his detention, Kano has been isolated and reportedly denied adequate health care, a situation that has led to a deterioration in his health condition. This concern was previously raised by Special Counsel Barrister Aloy Jumako. The later commends Prime Minister Stammer for his progressive views on British in parallelism and his historical impact on Africa, particularly Nigeria. Avid expressed confidence in Stammer's leadership and his understanding of global affairs, suggesting that his intervention could bring about significant positive change. They urged the Prime Minister to expedite a thorough review of Kanu's case and use his influence to facilitate facilitate Kano's release from what they described as the Nigerian dungeon. Avid emphasized that the support for Kano stems from a broader commitment to democratic processes and human rights. They understand that Kano's call for a referendum was legitimate political act, not a call for war or violence. Avid's stance is that Advocating for a referendum is an exercise in democracy and should not be criminalized or met with such severe reprisals. The letter from Avid also highlighted the broader implications of Kano's detention on human rights and democratic principles in Nigeria by drawing attention to Kano's case. Avid hopes to Spotlight the Nigerian government's handling of political dissents 
and its importance on country's democratic release would not only address a grave injustice, but also reinforce the global commitment to human rights and democratic governance. Habit's call to action is a significant plea from a group of veterans who have dedicated their lives to upholding democratic values. They view the detention of Nam de Kano as a direct affront to these values and believe that international intervention, particularly from a figure like Prime Minister Stammer, could be pivotal in resolving this issue by appealing to the UK. They are leveraging the historical and political ties between the UK and Nigeria, as well as Kano's status as British citizen to seek justice. In summary, Nigerians, avid later to Prime Minister Stammer is a poignant appeal for justice and human rights. It, re- it reflects a deep concern for Namdi Kano's well-being and calls for urgent international intervention or to ratify an ongoing injustice, emphasizing the need for democratic principles to be held in Nigeria. So guys, let's hear from you. Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. They are just asking President Bola Metunubu to at least do the needful by releasing the IPOB leader, let him go home for unity and for peace in the Southeast region. Thank you. Please kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Share this video. Let it go viral. Thank you. 